As we finish this Black History Month, we look at the struggle for freedom and equality. As News 5 anchor Frank Wiley explains, it is a struggle that came right through Northeast Ohio. You think about the physical endurance. You think about the personal will that it would require to do this. Their direction was north. Wade in the water. Guided. In the worst possible conditions. By a biblical song. Water children. Through swamp by river, and water. even ice. Under the stress and strain of being hunted. Runaway slaves who risked everything. Coming from a place where you were told from birth that you weren't human, you weren't fully human. To escape their bondage and live. Slavery is free. One of the greatest sins of the nation. Getting there required a network of secret routes and safe houses. Amidst some of the greatest horrors, people also rise up. The aid of abolitionists. And risk everything. And a railroad with no rails. Not just for themselves, but for that next generation. What's referred to as the Underground Railroad. Central to that road was the free state of Ohio. With beacons of hope and Oberlin, Lorraine. It is more than a house. And Illyria. This house was on the Underground Railroad for about seven years. In places like Monteith Hall, where abolitionist John Monteith hid slaves before they could board ships bound for Canada. This would be one of the last stops, like the next to the last stop. His house was not the only sanctuary where runaways could hide from slave catchers. Whenever um, there was a bounty hunter or some stranger in the neighborhood, everyone would go to their front porch and ring bells. And the freedom seekers would come into the church and they would go up into the bell tower. The people of St. John's Episcopal Church in Cleveland also supported the cause. All of these neighbors, they're actually violating the law to do what is right for another person. It was known as Station Hope. I got a chance to look up through. Joan Southgate is a community activist. A window in the belfry. Who has led efforts to preserve these historical places. And feel their presence. Being in this place keeps her in touch with that spirit. And feel their presence. Lingering. Here. What an experience that was. Gods are gonna trouble the water. I can imagine that time. Looks like the band that Moses led. When I sing the emotion of it, um, I feel it instantly when I sing a song like Wade in the Water. All of these sites are connected by the long struggle for freedom. Where I sit now is what they work for. A thought not lost on Val King. It's um, understanding that you should be proud of who you are, proud of your heritage, proud of having brown skin. A professional proud singer proud from Mansfield. Children way. Who keeps their memory the alive. That's why I always talk history to my children. Wade. Through song and story. Children way. Parents explaining to your kids the history of slavery, not to show them bad images or to make them feel bad, but for them to understand how they need to embrace um, those that are less fortunate. As we move forward. Or those that maybe have had struggles in the past. To a better future. It's empathy. God's a corner trouble the water. In Lorraine, Frank Wiley. News 5. Such a powerful piece. The Cleveland Public Theater holds an event at St. John's each year. Artists from all over the region gather to perform and to celebrate the church and the city's history. That event will be held in May.